I'm Beth Clifford, I'm 22 years old, I live in Bradford uh, but I work in Leeds as a youth worker. Um, so the main way that COVID-19 has affected me is mainly through my work, um, like I previously said I'm a youth worker uh, but more specifically I work for a Christian charity that works um, all across the high schools in Leeds. As I'm sure most of you are aware, um, the high schools haven't been open for several months now. Um, so our work has sort of come to a bit of a stop which has meant that a lot of us, myself included, have been furloughed. Um, so I think I was furloughed at the end of March, beginning of April I think. Um, so yeah, so I've not been at work for the past couple of weeks which has meant that I've had um, a lot of extra time on my hands with not much to do. Um, and at the beginning I was really motivated and sort of told myself I'd, I'd use the extra time to do lots of productive things. Uh, but if I'm completely honest with you, I've spent a lot of time watching Netflix. Um, I've also spent time sort of reading, which I don't normally get time to do. I've spent time um, like looking at the Bible and things like that. Um, so I'd like to say I've used some of the time wisely, but definitely not all of it. Um, yes, yeah, so last year was my first ever year at ISCA. Um, I was part of the Middle Girls pastoral staff team um, with Emily Trotter and it was just incredible. It was such a good week um, last year, sort of getting to know the girls, um, exploring faith with them, having a laugh, just having a really uh, fun week um, with sort of, yeah, I guess the common thing at the centre being like that we love Jesus and that we wanted to explore that more. Um, so I was just really looking forward to sort of reuniting with them, to sort of catching up with them, seeing how their year's been, um, going on that journey of faith a bit further. Um, so a little bit gutty that that can't happen, but the wonders of technology is that we can always stay in touch um, throughout the year anyway. Um, and yeah, I guess Iska just felt like a family last year, which was lovely, and I was just, just really excited to just have the week all over again. Um, so obviously, as I'm sure everybody is a little bit gutted um, that it's not taking place this year, but there will be other years, um, I'm sure. But all in all, I just think it's an incredible week. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna miss, I'm just gonna miss everything about it. I think there's, yeah, I'm just gonna miss it that it's not gonna be part of the summer. Um, but hopefully, look forward to future years of Isca instead. Yeah, so one thing I've sort of been spending more time doing while I've just been in the house um, and not at work is listening to worship music, uh, just sort of spending time um, intentionally listening to worship music, but as well just sort of having it on in the background and having it sort of just be part of my day. Um, and a song that's really stood out to me throughout sort of the last couple of months has been the song um, titled Raise a Hallelujah. I think originally it was written by Bethel. Um, but don't quote me on that. Um, but the song is just about sort of praising God, um, sort of whatever the circumstances are of life. And I find it quite easy to praise God when things are going really well, um, when life is good. Uh, but sometimes struggle to have my mindset on praise when life isn't going particularly well or things are a bit difficult, um, or the world seems just a little bit darker. Um, but there's a, there's a line in the song that says, um, I'm gonna sing in the middle of the storm and that sort of that line has been ringing and ringing in my head and um, sort of yeah trying to get into that mentality of yeah okay things aren't great but God is still there God is still worthy of our praise and that's something that um, yeah has stuck with me and hopefully will stick with me um, in the future as well
I raise a hallelujah Heaven comes to fight for me I'm gonna sing In the middle of the storm Louder and louder You're gonna hear my praises roar Up from the ashes Hope will arise Death is defeated The King is alive I raise a hallelujah With everything inside of me I raise a hallelujah I will wash the darkness The King is alive. 